What's going on live? I'm still new to this social media scene. Um, back at you again with another live. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about some projects I want to work on when, again when we get the shop up and running. Like uh, I've been talking to a couple people about bringing some programs to the tattoo shop, tattoo studio, besides just tattooing. Like, uh, I don't know if I'm the first to do it or whatever, but like, you know, I wanted to do so I'm pretty sure I'm not the first to give like art classes or stuff like that. And you see the other stuff I want to do in the studio. So, you know, between that and my nonprofit, uh, I basically wanted to do different, um, instructional courses. Like I said, like the basic art, the painting, um, video game design, if we get the right equipment and stuff, even if we don't have it to start out. Hopefully over time we'll be able to get like enough computers to hold the class or maybe go somewhere else to host the class. But uh, what I've been trying to do is I've been trying to network with some like universities and colleges to get some interns. And, and right now I'm trying to create like a criteria. Like I know usually uh, the, the um, university or whatever has certain criteria they want to adhere to in order for the uh, interns to be accepted into your program and you can are a qualified host of these internships so I want to do that uh, like I said I'm developing different things where if you see some of the stuff on social media some of the um, posts and go through like with the uh, artists want to post you'll see some of the things we're trying to do at the studio and if we're able to get the right type of space and like I, I'm hoping that this will be soon before long um so I'm hoping that the ball starts rolling again I can't guarantee it but I'm hoping and hopefully over whatever time it is we go out looking at uh facilities and spaces and we find something that really suits what we're trying to do and like I said, if we can do that, we can set up the shop, then we'll have different aspects. I'm trying to do some other stuff. Uh, but like I said, I'm trying to network with the universities to bring in interns. But even with, even, like, even with the clothing, like, you know, uh, it's cool. I know everybody, I know a lot of different studios do the t-shirts. Like I had t-shirts, like, uh, years ago. I haven't fully invested in that i was focused on the um on the school stuff but like i had the designs the basic designs already laid out and they they from like 2016 i had the original ideas back in like 2013 and 2000 but i wasn't in a position right then to do it just like while i was going to school i was focused on school so now this stuff is coming to fruition and it's like even with the clothing design like they got a certain schools like whether they're art based or a full um university or therapy based because you know i'm a clinician and i i want to as a, not just a clinician but a social worker and somebody who's uh invest wants to invest in the community and do different projects in the community i think like even the program like even as interns and working with certain projects with the interns i think um we can develop things in the community along with the uh the foundation of the art studio so um like i said I, i'm telling y'all this because you know uh i've told some people not much people i think i could trust but at the same time like you know um, like I said, I'm in negotiations. I hope they're ongoing. I know uh, right now it's on hold, just like other things are on hold until like I get further in the. But it's always good to have do the research now, cause like if I reached out to certain uh, programs and they said like, uh, no, that's not going to meet the criteria, or no, you need this type of credential to host uh, our interns, and I feel like it's a good opportunity, not just for our studio to provide different things and um different programs but it's good for the intern because i was an intern i had to do two internships for my master's program and at times it wasn't easy to secure a spot and you know not everybody wants to work with everybody 
And I also want to um, try to look into, you know, because uh, I know in the PA state, the uh, state penitentiaries and the uh, Department of Correction has a uh, trade program. So, and you already know in some uh, correctional facilities, like it's not the best. Like they do the little homemade jobs, but like I feel like there's a lot of art within the uh, prison settings, whether it's music production, like you can see people on their keyboards and on their block and they got the headphones on and all you hear and you're like, what the hell is this dude doing? And then they might bring a keyboard out the yard and they have like the whole um, studio production beat. So like when I see stuff like that, when I see people doing the handkerchiefs, when I see people doing um, poetry and stuff like that and lyrics and having jailhouse yard freestyles and uh, stuff like that. It's like, you know, it's a lot of art. It's a lot of art forms and there's more than I just mentioned that you'll see. And people like, you know, some people are down on their luck, but they can fill their um, whole cabinet with some form of art just for giving it the, selling it to other people as a currency and filling their uh, cabinet so they can have that, uh, extra food or whatever like you know so with that said i think like you know a lot of times some people are under the belief like they you got to do certain things to continue maintaining your life or going certain directions and especially coming out of a situation like uh incarceration where you might feel like your opportunities are limited so like i think certain things like like i'm saying even with the pa uh Department of Corrections now, they have these accredited trade programs. And um, if they add something like uh, the body art to it, then I think that would be something that uh, people would gravitate to. With like, like I would say, in each prison, unfortunately, that I've seen, I've seen like on one block, probably like I would say. 40 to 60 percent of the block had some type of artistic talent so like i i'm not a, a record studio i don't have a recording studio we got the um dj equipment but uh and you see me like edit some music and stuff like that but uh i don't know if we can if i can reach the right reach then maybe uh we can set up some programs like i have feelers even out with some officials and I've been trying to get the right audiences and stuff but I'm gonna keep trying I'm gonna keep tr plugging and like I said in some of the posts like even with the uh, stuff we do as artists like I'm gonna try to if we because I know I'm gonna work on some stuff like by myself like I'm gonna do the video game stuff I'm gonna do like I ain't never gonna become a professional DJ and I, I don't anticipate having like a blockbuster video game but I'm gonna in my spare time, I'm going to be trying to get this video game that I've been envisioning for over probably a decade uh, created. And um, the t-shirts, like I said, we're trying to do button-ups. We're trying to do golf shirts. We're trying to do ladies stuff, like ladies apparel. Um, I ain't got no aspirations to do, like, sneaker, a sneaker line, because, you know, I'm pretty sure that's too much, too complicated. Maybe, uh, like partner up with Phyllis, Philip Morris, you've seen the Greenberry um, Jones, but that ain't no time soon. But like I'm saying, like, and hopefully we can market different things to different uh, outlets, whether it's local newspapers or magazine publications. Like, if you've been on my social media, whether it's Facebook or Instagram, you've seen I've done, like, I started to do a comic strip. Like, they were uh, different comic strips. Like, I, I'm not saying I was the best, but like, you know, I did them for a brief period of time. That was like right before I started school. I, my plan was to continue doing them weekly. And I could probably pick it up now. I just have it. And then you've seen me practicing the um, animation. And like, I know I haven't done the best animation. Like I can draw, you could go through there and see that. But at the same time, I, I just wanted to try to see if I could animate something. Like I, I said that, uh, the busted challenge animation drawn that I did that took like three hours and even though it's 15 um 15 seconds you see me in another video editing it to make it longer 
to reach 15 seconds. So, and that took like another hour and a half. So, like, you know, I, when I first did the first one with the basketball scene, it was like, I just wanted to see if I could do it. You get what I'm saying? I just wanted to test the water, see if I could do it. Like, I can, I definitely know I could do a cartoon. I definitely know I could do, and like I, I told y'all about the um, Taryn and Tabby John I want to develop. So, if I do a comic strip or a cartoon or something like that, like, I'm trying to market it to outside sources and maybe that could be something that the internship the interns can benefit off of having that experience not just art based or art therapy based or whatever but having that experience of marketing uh outreach and networking setting up projects setting up teams for projects whether it's me and the interns or it's me some artist that like body art artists that have time set aside for different projects and we manage a project we uh strategize on the project we and even some of the community oriented things that i wanted to do like maybe that'll benefit them but you know um i'm out here trying whether it's uh ubisoft or pixar i'm, I'm out here trying whether it's the daily news or uh the wall street journal i'm trying like i'm i'm gonna try i'm gonna try to get not just my stuff out there. I'm going to try to encourage whoever wants to, whoever I work with, uh, uh, reach for the stars. I, I keep saying, like, it's not a, a, a dictatorship. It's a democracy. And I, I welcome all um, inclusive. And uh, I'm a very approachable uh, person. I definitely, like, if you have a good idea, I'll let you run with it, like, if you, if it's going to benefit you, it's going to benefit the studio, it's going to benefit both of us, like, we're going, we're going, like, I like new ideas, like I said, one of the things I want to do, like, I will encourage is, like, people to try to come up with some new hot style, because I see it all the time, I see hot styles of t uh, tattoos that are unique, but, you know, eventually people copy them like whether it's new school or whatever or the, uh watercolor or whatever um like I, I like seeing new stuff i like seeing new stuff so i got my ideas i got things that i want to work on like i said i ain't never gonna be no dj but that's more fun for me than anything hopefully we'll find a space that can fit the uh the projector screen and we'll have some uh watch some fights some boxing fights watch some football some basketball like i said it ain't gonna be a clubhouse it is a place of work but you know we hopefully we'll be able to have these different um promotional events and uh <coughs> just bring a crowd out and have a good time doing it like you know whether it's uh playing with the dj booth playing with the music editing software uh, i do want to have like a photo area so people can uh model their tattoos get like a, I already talked about the uh, calendar the annual calendar where I don't want to say it's a competition but it's a competition and we'll for you got 12 chances like if if you get four joints in there and somebody else get none like but it's a joke it's a joke like but it like the best like I hope it has that competitive edge that fun fun competitive edge where you know people we talk we talk shit and we we do what we do and like you know or maybe we'll put out like each artist will have their own um promotional calendar and every artist selects eight or 12 uh of their best pieces over that year and every year we put out a promotional drawing and um like it might start the first year depending on how things go it might start the first year only one and you gotta pick the most elite hot Maybe we come together as a team and vote on it. Maybe my vote rules out everything. What I think is, I don't know. Like I said, I'm open to discussion. I'm open to ideas. But I know different ways I'm going to market the uh, the studio. And like I said, I'm always open to either artistic ideas, promotional ideas, like marketing ideas. Like, you know, like I say in different posts in the caption, like, you know, any... Uh, merchandise sold by any artist is the artist take home you take all that home except for like aside from the cost of uh wholesale items like if i'm getting t-shirts or whatever unless you're buying your own t-shirts and then it's all your money like you know 
but uh and i encourage that and i'm trying to get some i've been trying to talk to different people i don't know I don't know if it's just the plague or a swine flu or something like that, but, you know, we're trying to do different things. And, like I said, I, I feel real excited. I, I'm almost scared to say that because, you know, some people are crazy. Uh, but, you know, just to see this coming to fruition, and I, like I keep saying, I think it'll be, it's going to be work. Like, But I think as artists, it's going to be fun for us, like, you know whether we playing on the computer, whether video game software, website design software, uh, the CAD software, um, music production, video editing. Like, hopefully, like, I know there's lots of artists throughout the city. Hopefully, we can start, you know what I mean? And then the podcast, the podcast, like, I, I had some great conversations today, just today alone. So, you know, um, like, I would love to get, so, like I know when the time comes it's gonna be like like easy bake oven style like it'll be easier but like right now like we're still in that building stage and I'm basically just yeah you know I mean I told I'm telling people this is the uh preliminary content before that hard launch and um I'm just hoping like you know because I'm excited to highlight some other people's stories and some other people's uh, ventures, whether it's clothing lines, whether it's art, art. Like, you know, we want, I want to, like, you know, be associated with the next Van Gogh. I want to be, like, say I, I discovered the next, uh, the next, uh, I'm drawing the blank right now. Uh, not Mozart, but, you know, some artist, Van Gogh. Um, I can't think of any other artists right now. I don't know. That was just off the top of the head. But, like, I would like to be, like, and I'm not even Van Gogh. You get what I'm saying? I'm not Van Gogh. Like, I, I'd just be happy to be like, yo, Roski, I worked at my shop or he, he took a class here. You get what I'm saying? Or who knows? Like, I'd be happy to see somebody reach a Basquiat million-dollar painting style. Like, hopefully they're still on earth. You get what I'm saying? So, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just trying to. Even if it's just a podcast uh, guest, like, even if it's somebody that, even if I didn't launch their career, like, you know, I met them back when, you get what I'm saying? So it's like, I, I encourage people, I always encourage people, like, you know, it ain't nothing, like, I try to help people as much as I can, I can't do it, like, if, you know what I mean? I, I'm starving myself, but I try to help people as much as I can, and I don't know, it, it's a good feeling for me, like, not on certain levels, but in that sense where it's a for-profit business, like, I'm just excited to see things, like, a lot of times I'm just excited to see things come to fruition, just so excited to see things done, so that's what I'll be doing, like, I don't know, I, my mind's always racing, like I said, like, I, I off that conversation I had today, and it's funny, because I had a conversation today about somebody's idea, I, and that spurred and it wasn't even that conversation. It was a conversation after that conversation. I don't even think the con the second conversation had anything to do with the first conversation, but the second conversation spurred the idea for the uh, see about the trade programs in the Pennsylvania um, correctional facilities because I, I had a great, great conversation. I had two great conversations a day, and like if I could help them promote, like if I could help them develop, if I could help them do anything, that's just exciting for me. Like, I told the one chick, I don't got to be the head. I don't have to, I can be a role player as long as, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't have to be involved at all. I just want to, like, see you do whatever it is that you want to do in life and succeed. Like, mm -hmm, that's how I be. Like, I'm not a hating dude. Like, I want to see everybody reach the top. I don't know. I don't know if, how popular of an opinion that is, but, you know, that's how I be feeling. Like, I'm not no stuck on you dude, like... If, any, if I could provide any platform, and I'm not even the type that wants to get famous and stuff, so, like, if you, if I, you don't owe me nothing, if we work together, like, I'm just happy to, like, I feel like I'll be all right, whatever I do, whatever I'm working on, I'll be all right, and if you reaching for fame and stardom, like, you know what I mean, but like, if you, if you develop an art style, if you develop a tattoo style, and you your stuff goes through the roof. I'd be like, that's what's up. I'm happy to be associated with your progress, success, 
launch whatever you want to say. Like I said, even if it's just at a podcast interview level, like, you know what I mean? Like, I know him back when. Like, how many people can say that they knew Kanye? Not the, I know he ain't the most popular right now, but, like, he's the first, one of the first that popped in my mind. Like, you hear stories of who discovered who. Like, it's, I just want to, you know what I mean? I hope we birth a Basquiat, like, you know, I hope we both birth a Basquiat, that'll be the shit, like, that's how I feel, like, you know what I mean, but, like, that's that person, like, I don't know, I'm trying to eat off you, I'm trying to eat off my own plate, but at the same time, like, I'll be happy to be like, yeah, I knew this dude when, and that's what art, local artists, too, whether you, uh, uh, R&B, rap artists, like, if you, you hit the podcast when it's up and launched and come through freestyle, hit the DJ equipment, like, yeah, you know I mean, it'll be a good time for me, like, yeah, you know I mean, I'll be telling you, I'll, I'll be liking that, I don't want to say underground music, I like the underground music, but I like that, maybe not the I heard it first, but that, you know, that, you know, just discovering something, like, you know, before it hits that mainstream. Not that I got a problem with mainstream. I'll be bobbing my hand, head to mainstream. I'm just saying I like that exclusivity of being like, oh, that's that hot. And you know, like, yeah, I mean, like, that's why I had that A&R conversation because it's like, yeah, I mean, like, that's me though. So, you know, I ain't nobody's sidekick or nothing like that, but you know, I feel like I do what I do in my own right. And I don't, I don't want to hold nobody down and stop somebody from shining. I'm not a jealous person. Like, but you pers- like if you pursue fame, that's your thing. That's your thing. Like, I, I just started doing these uh, lives and posting so much. You can tell that by the page. But um, it's fun, but still, like, I'm, I'm more of a, I, I think I'm more of a, a managerial entrepreneur promotion type dude than, like, uh, and marketing type dude, then like I, I'll do the, I'll do it if I got to. I'll be in the spotlight if I got to, but I don't really, I'm not really like I'd rather be a behind the scenes boy. So like yeah, I mean. But like I said, I'm on here just like letting people know. Still like yeah, hopefully the train's gonna start moving, and you know like I'm saying like hopefully when the shops are really up and going. And like I say, you check out the rest of the um the stuff because even back a couple months ago, weeks ago, because I've had a lot of this equipment for a while. I've had a lot of the equipment for a while. It's just like right now at the standstill. It's like we at the doorstep and now we reached the standstill. I don't want people to think like, oh, he was just bull. He was just full of whatever the whole time. You get what I'm saying? So I'm trying to showcase different things. Wow. Mob, don't get me your jack boy feelings. Don't get me your jack boy feelings. Um, I'm just we're heavily secured here. We we got cameras. Got the alarm. Security dogs. I'm just saying. Uh, I'm just saying. Like you know, I ain't want people to think like, cause it's just it's more boxes sitting down there. Like you seen the um. The tattoo beds, there's more, the two of them, there's more boxes down there, there's more drawing tables down there, they've just been sitting there for months, like since July and stuff, so a lot of the stuff, and like I said, you've seen, um, if you go through my page, you'll see my daughter's uh, jewelry box that I made at one of the drawings in Philadelphia, like this uh, woodcrafting drawing in Philadelphia, and like, you know, the newest stuff I got is the Dremel that engraving tool which I tried to stop smoking that was stop smoking money and then um I got a jigsaw like a month or two ago and that's probably much the newest stuff I got cash but you know um that was the quit smoking money so I, I'm gonna try to quit smoking again and start throwing money aside but you know we'll see and then get a couple more uh, smaller items and stuff like the medical trays and stuff like that but uh like i said it's basically it medical trays paints a couple machines you know i know most people got their own paints and machines but you know we'll keep hopefully we'll keep like a 
maybe a community chess or maybe like maybe maybe not I don't want to get the wrong impression give the wrong impression but if not a community chess maybe we'll put like a petty cash or size for one because it's like you know you I want to keep it a stock anyway if you got your own paints I'm happy if you do got your own paints and your own equipment but I'm gonna try to keep a stock of my own so maybe that cigarette money like I already did the math and wrote it down like all right so we'll just and I could buy the river and all that stuff. So hopefully, you know, I can't promise nothing because, like, yeah, I mean, that's the only thing, like, I'd really be jonesing for the cigarettes, like, with all the dumb stuff I've done. My, um, I've never had the problem I have with cigarettes, like, with any other substance or whatever. Like, and I don't even like cigarettes, and that's what's... Cigarettes. But anyway, I ain't going to spend too much time on that. I'm just saying, like, I'm... I'm Going to keep pushing, keep promoting, and just keep like I said, like I keep saying, like my next idea ain't even come yet. Like that's how my mind works. My mind's always racing. I'm trying to. It's not just like a come up. It's like strategic marketing. You get what I'm saying? With like hopefully, like I'm hoping, like nothing barring anything, any other obstacles or roadblocks or barriers. But we trying to we trying to break down these glass ceilings like juggernauts. So you know. We reach the moon and beyond, you know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. I'm trying to get get this stuff together. And now, like I'm saying, I'm still trying to do my work in the field. That's still the main focus is the field. But uh, I'm passionate about this tattoo shop. And then there's other ventures that, like, if that works out or not, it's not really. But this tattoo shop, I think, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where it goes. We're we going to keep trying to bust these moves so we can make it do what it do and we can really get this stuff together like i said i'm about to really work on this proposal now for the uh like i said i talked to a couple uh university heads or department heads at universities and i reached out to others so hopefully i can hear back about something i got a couple meetings with uh city council uh city council members hopefully we can work on some other different stuff like, I'm all over the place, but it's the way I work. I can't. Like, yeah, at work, I'm at work. Like, this is my own projects and stuff like that. I can. It's kind of crazy because I'm starting one thing and I'm still working on another, but it might come. Like, right now, I'm at a standpoint with the. Uh, I'm at a standstill with the tattoo shop, but uh, hopefully, like, we'll do, uh, the train will pick up some steam right now. Uh, but I feel like that while I'm at a standstill, I could put some feelers out, get some, some conversation, dialogue going on other things I want to work on, whether it's, uh, right now or f just setting the groundwork for things to develop in six months, a year, two years, you get what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm trying to form these relationships, talk to these people and we can, whether I'm by myself, but I have like blessings from whatever or I, I have the conversation with people and you know I put something together and then like I'm saying like I'm always open to constructive criticism good constructive criticism not some narcissistic I want to just beat you down with criticism so like you know I'm putting together what I'm putting together and when the time's right we me and these individuals meet back up and if we're if I got to change some of the stuff that I'm trying to do or trying to, if I have to change what, uh, what the criteria would be for us to have a good placement for some of these things. And even outside of like the universities or, uh, cause it, I'm a, I'm a, I've reached out to a couple, but I'm gonna reach out to a couple more just to see. But this is, like I said, this is the preliminary work right now. So hopefully, you know, I don't know. And hopefully we can just do different things that I think, like I say, enrich the studio, help the artists, uh, help the community, and help others. Like even with the uh, interns, like I said, I was an intern. Like that, again, I think it's going to be a fun environment. And like if you, I can help somebody in their path, to their goals like it's all good so I don't know Whoa. I'm gonna cap it off like that and you know maybe 
come back joking in 15 minutes. I don't know if you'll see me again tonight, but you might. <laughs>